who it is. I'm back to Magda Goebbels, Joseph Goebbels' wife, who's Patty Disney. And here is um, uh, Judy Garland and Shirley Temple. You can see the resemblances now. So I'm going to tell you, I don't know who this guy is, and I don't know who the baby is, but I'll show you who these two people are in a second. So who's that? I mean, I don't recognize her. But what we do is use uh, the other kids uh, for the index person of interest uh, concept. So let's find out who hangs out with Judy Garland and Shirley Temple. And what's this? Judy Garland with Carol Burnett. They do look close, uh, almost like sisters sitting, hugging on the couch. Just an FYI, this is Judy Garland from A Star Is Born. Find other pictures and... Here's another picture of Carol Burnett, and this is Judy Garland, uh, Danny Kaye, that's President Kennedy, and boom. So we find a great picture of Carol Burnett, and you can see the similarities here between Carol Burnett and Magda Goebbels' daughter. And again, I need to go through two billion images for this. All I did was... I had found Judy Garland, I had found Shirley Temple, and see who they hang out with, and this is a really pretty decent match between the uh, two of them, and here I even say it's a pretty good bet for Carol Burnett. And we've got one more kid here, so again, we look to see who hangs out with Judy Garland, Shirley Temple, and Carol Burnett, and look what we find. Judy Garland, Mickey Rooney, and Shirley Temple dancing their way into our hearts. And we take a look, and bingo. This is Mickey Rooney. This is the original image. Here it's reversed. I put it in uh, both ways because I'm not sure. He's wearing a turtleneck here and some kind of foo-foo shirt. But you can see the basic similarities, and the hair looks virtually identical. Um, and... Again, didn't have to go through two billion images. I used the person of interest concept, figured out who hangs with these other people. And uh, here's a few more images of Mickey Rooney and Magda Goebbels' son, if you want to take a look. And so we identify, this is Patty Disney, Magda Goebbels, Judy Garland, Shirley Temple, Mickey Rooney, Carol Burnett. Now, oh. By the way, Mickey Rooney, still alive. Here's what tripped me up for several, probably several months, embarrassingly enough. Pictures of Mickey Rooney kissing Judy Garland. And I had believed that Judy Garland was the brother, Judy Garland, of Mickey Rooney. And here they are kissing. And had a very difficult time with this and said that, they couldn't possibly be brother and sister because they're kissing, but the evidence was really so clear here that I had to say <clears throat> that they are, in fact, brother and sister. So I managed to find some additional information. These are uh, quotes, and some of these are quotes from Mickey Rooney. It says here, Though they were both married many times, they were reportedly never lovers themselves. Whenever asked why they were never married, Mickey Rooney would reply, it would be like marrying my sister. During an interview in the documentary film, When the Lion Roars, Rooney describes their friendship. Judy Garland and I were so close we could have came from the same womb, which they did. So, Mickey Rooney, a very funny guy, putting it out there, it's inside jokes, to the people in the know who know that they are brother and sister, the niece and nephew of Walt Disney, niece and nephew, therefore, of Adolf Hitler, and the ch children of Joseph Goebbels. Uh, here's Carol Burnett, and little blonde here, girl, I suspect this is her. Um... You could see Adolf Hitler, who was Walt Disney, adoringly staring at the girls. Walt Disney loved children. Not too crazy about certain other groups of people, but his niece, 
he has adoring eyes, and this is ultimately what had me uh, figure out uh, Shirley Temple, the way he adoringly looked at Shirley Temple. And here is uh, kind of the conglomeration here photo. I've gone through most of this already, but I added in Mickey Rooney over here, and you can take your time and look at that. And there's no accidents here. Um, picture of Hitler feeding deer and Walt Disney feeding the deer. I mean, anybody can feed deer. It's just, um, you know, the fact that you have a picture of both these men and Walt Disney did the uh, movie Bambi. So, no accidents here. And, you know, here's Walt Disney at uh, Disneyland. And I call it Mausolini. But there's no accident. His hand is like this. The Bavarian architecture is no accident either. you got to realize that these are not people ashamed of what he did as Adolf Hitler. He's very proud and believes that they did the right thing and changed the world. And I think there's a lot of people who would disagree with that, but there are a lot of people who are around who are still uh, believe this man is... A hero. So there's no accident. He's got his hand and arm, like, arm up like that. And you'd say, oh yeah, he's just greeting the populace. They could have had him pose in a million other ways. This is as close to a Sig Heil as, uh, as you're going to get. And uh, here's uh, Adolf Hitler on this side, Walt Disney. And here Adolf Hitler is Walt Disney. Walt Disney mugging for the camera or pointing, giving the stupid look, and here Walt Disney, a.k.a. Adolf Hitler, doing something goofy, look at this, hey, look at this, this is my prop, or whatever he's doing here. But this is a curious fat fellow over here, and he's obviously Asian, and this is a man named Kay Kamen. And here's a picture of Kay Kamen with the Little Rascals, and Kay Kamen did marketing for Disney, mostly toys, he was said to be Samoan, this man is not Samoan, he's Chinese. They make him up to look Samoan. And I studied this photograph very carefully, and I immediately spotted that this kid here, he turns out to be Joe Cobb, is Kay Kamen's son. That one was easy. I mean, he's Asian-looking. This guy's Asian-looking. Big, fat porker. But... This girl turned out to be interesting as well. And that took me a while longer, but she's laying up against him, which is very, very unlikely to do, unless that's your dad or maybe an uncle or something like that. It just doesn't occur with strangers. But here she's comfortably nestled up against him, and this is a girl named Mary Corman, and this is also Kay Kamen's daughter. And this one I just got recently, but this may be his uh, other son as well. And you say, well, this is a very Chinese-looking kid. This girl doesn't look all that uh, Chinese, and neither does this boy. They look kind of blonde. But, um, again, here's Joe Cobb. Um, I'll come back to that. I must have jumped ahead. So here's uh, Kay Kamen, and this is Kay Kamen without all the uh, the nose Samoan makeup and shaking the hand of Walt Disney, a.k.a. Adolf Hitler. And uh, again, you're doing a little something, adding something with the hair and the nose. Um, there's also that weird hand grip here, which someone can explain to me. So... Um, here you see this, uh, person with Adolf Hitler and, uh, clearly resembling Kay Kamen. Here, Walt Disney with his nice, uh, bon vivant sinister look here. And, um, you know, you never think, never thought I would find, uh, a Nazi made up from this guy, Kay Kamen, but here he is, the uh, Samoan, the Samoan-looking guy over here. I found this guy, but he's not worth our time at this point. And, uh, all right, so coming back 
to these pictures here. This is Kay Kamen's wife, and she is Eurasian. Uh, I don't believe she's fully European. I think she's got some epicanthic folds, and she could produce, it does produce this uh, blonde uh, daughter here. And this girl is uh, Mary Corman, and she has Asian features, and she becomes the probably the world's most famous actress. Jackie Codon also has Asian features on him. This is probably his son as well. Um, it's possible he was with the first wife because, uh, I mean, this kid looks pretty much fully Asian, and these kids look more like their mother. And his little humor, and uh, we're pointing out this guy here to find Wilfred Jackson. I'm going to race through some of these because I have some other stuff coming up. Joseph Kramer, Nazi, uh, turns out uh, to look quite a bit like uh, Jerry Jeronami. Gir and uh, Tom Palmer, where's Tom? Over here, looks like they aged him up to look like Franz Hostler. And uh, this one, it took me a while, and I think I, I do have enough uh, proof to show that uh, uh, Herman Goering uh, was the same guy who played Oric Goldfinger. You know, he watched Goldfinger walking around with that stick in his hand in uh, the movie Goldfinger, the James Bond film. And, you know, no accident, they put that in his hand, and he moves it around, and all this other nonsense, and, Here's uh, Garing with it, both big, fat, portly men. But uh, it helps if you can nail it down a little better. So I looked for co-stars with uh, Gert Frobe. Gert Frobe uh, is the guy who played Goldfinger in the movie of the same name. And Gert Frobe did movies with Lex Barker. And I found the younger picture of Lex Barker over here. And uh, Lex Barker played Tarzan, Davy Crackett, very nice-looking man. And we find other images of Goering with a guy named uh, Gustavo Adolfo. And here is uh, the King of Sweden. And Gustavo Adolfo does look remarkably like Lex Barker. So I believe I have tied Goering in this picture with Adolfo, who looks like Lex Barker, and my theory that um, Garing is Gert Frobe, who plays Goldfinger, is looking pretty good. Now, if uh, somebody wants to do the biometrics and let me know, um, I would be appreciative of it. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Ava Braun. And, oh, this, this is just takes it to a whole nother level. 